Jay, is negotiation something official or, or we negotiate frequently rather? Well, it's, it's a good question because people tend to think of negotiation as something that happens in a business context or in a diplomatic context. But as a matter of fact, as I tell my students, we all negotiate every single day of our lives. Any time that you want to come to an agreement with another party and you have some interests that are in common and some interests that are not, uh, negotiation is a path to coming to an agreement. Does it mean that, that we have to defeat the partner? So it is the goal of the negotiation to, to get a victory at the end? Research actually shows us that, that negotiation is, most negotiations are not what we would call a fixed sum game. That means there doesn't have to be uh, a winner who wins at the expense of a loser. Mm -hmm. It's possible, uh, it's almost a cliche now, it's possible to have what we call a win-win negotiation. Not just something that provides something for each partner, but something that adds more than the value that was on the table at the beginning of the negotiation, based on the, the different interests that they have. There's a model that we use as our, what I call our target model when we teach negotiation here, and that is the uh, Harvard uh, uh, Law School model uh, of uh, principled negotiation. And on, on that, this is a cooperative model, and we often say that this is one of the few models of negotiation uh, for which if, if your counterpart, if the person you're negotiating with is using the same technique and has read the same book, it's actually an advantage, whereas mm -hmm. in most of the other cases... Yeah, speaking the, the same cases, language. Yeah. Exactly. You're speaking the same language, mm -hmm. you understand it's that it's possible to create range, additional yeah. value, and that it, it can benefit everyone. Jay, you are an American. You live in Hungary. Yes. I suppose that you speak some Hungarian, I so do. you understand yes. uh, Hungarian. Is there such a thing as a, as a Hungarian uh, negotiating style or American negotiating style? You teach absolutely international classrooms, so do you see any cultural differences between uh, the styles uh, of the different students? Of, of course, uh, I, I do see differences. I've lived in five different countries, and we have students in our classes from many, many different countries. And one of the major subjects of discussion is what the cultural differences are. There are probably as many different negotiating styles as there are different people. Mm -hmm. Both Americans and Hungarians score high on the individualism scale, mm -hmm. which in a way makes them slightly less predictable. Hungarians are probably uh, a bit more risk averse. They, they don't gamble as much in a negotiation as Americans do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this, this is an advantage, sometimes it's a disadvantage. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can gain more by, by taking a, a greater risk. But in general, uh, in, empirical research shows us that uh, those who take the biggest risk, the biggest gambles in negotiation, do the worst. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. actually it's probably not mm -hmm. a disadvantage. Art or science negotiation? We have a lot more scientific information about what works and what doesn't work in negotiation than we had, say, 20 years ago. There are research programs about it? There are research programs uh, uh, testing various techniques and measuring these cultural differences, mm -hmm. as we discussed, and seeing which strategies seem to be more, more, most successful. Even with all that research, and, and really this is just the beginning, I think, of what we can, what we can uh, investigate in terms of, uh, of negotiation, it's still largely an art. Is it possible to learn it? And what is the best absolutely. method of, of learning it? Some people find it easier, like anything else, uh, to learn. Uh, but, uh, but still, everyone can learn it if they get the right kind of feedback and frequent practice. We do uh, role-play uh, negotiation. Mm -hmm. It's a highly interactive environment. Uh, we share experiences as well. So yes, uh, we get some practice. And what we're really learning in the, in the course is not just principles of negotiation, but how to practice so that we can go out and practice in real life. Because in a single course, you can never get enough practice to make you a great negotiator. But you can get a start. Yes, Jay, thank you very much. It was very good to negotiate with you. Thank you, Jay. You did thank very you. well. <laughs>